Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to have another installment of the bromeliad family tree and we're going to look at the genus Ecmia. So you know what? The sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing, it's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and let's look at the genus Ecmia. So in order to take a look at the genus Ecmia with all its different colors and shapes and sizes, I thought it would be fun if we went to Sundance orchids and bromeliads, and they have plenty of them there. So come on, let's take a tour. Okay guys, well we're here at Sundance and I'm going to show you some Ecmias, and I'm going to show you just how diverse a genus this is. Now this is an Ichnia, it's called Samurai, and this is in the Shantinii complex, and I think we're going to do a Collecting Corner episode on that. Now Ichnia describes the plant uh, from the word Ichmi, which means spear. And that means that they all will get an inflorescence that rises above the cup, unlike Neoregilia. This is another Shantinii. And Shantinii's will have banding uh, on the leaf surface. Now, this is an Ichmia called Correa Arajwa. I may have um, mangled that just a bit in the name. And this is a species, and this actually can be found growing in the wild. And if you take a look, you can see that the pup comes out on stolons. This is an unnamed Ichmia. It was a cultivar. Nobody really knows where it came from. And as you can see, it's Stoloniferous. I'm going to get down there and see if you can see that. And take a look. So this would be an Ichmia that's good for climbing. Now I don't know if there is a one-size-fits-all rule that you can uh, think about and be able to identify an Ichmia because they come in all sorts of different sizes and this is called Big Ben that means it's a cultivar and it's quite big um, that's about two and a half feet tall look down there that is in a nine inch uh, pot and they also can be pretty toothy this is an Ichmia bracteata. And let me see if I can get this to zoom out a little bit so you can see the plant a little bit better. I hope you saw the teeth. And this is a bracteata that is variegated, as you can see. I want to apologize for the glare. It's around 10 a.m. And uh, we are in the 30% uh, shea cloth area. That's where some of the larger Ichmias will be. This is called Loey's Pride. And with the light, it's kind of hard to see it, but it does have a silver cast and it is variegated. This is also another climber. It's a really cool plant for that, too. And then right next to the Loey's Pride, I want to show you this one, and it really has a leaf that is uh, unusual. Let's get in there and see if we can see it. This is called Ichmia Red Candles, and if you take a look at the leaves, those leaves are really, really, really skinny. Now, Red Candles will get to be really orange and will tolerate full sun pretty much all day, even down here in southwest Florida. Now I really have to stand back so that you can see 
this huge Blanchetti Anna and it is a yellow hybrid so it won't get orange like most of the Blanchetti Annas will it will maintain that color this is actually called Blanchetti Anna wide leaf now this is another Ichmia and you can see the inflorescence and this is called Ichmia America and it is a variegated cultivar of blue tango which is all green so this is a close-up of an Ichmia America inflorescence Ichmia America is a variegated cultivar of Ichmia blue tango let's see if we can zoom back a little bit and take a better look at this so this is another Ichmia group and I'm going to call them groups because there are some groups of Ichmias that have lots of different color variations so this is Orlandiana and I'm just guessing there are probably oh golly maybe even 20 different color and patterns of um, Orlandiana. This is called Orlandiana White Knight. So this will give you a really good feel for the wonderful patterning and color in this particular Orlandiana and it's called again White Knight. And we're going to be doing an episode real soon I hope maybe next week on the plant blog about Orlandiana and show you a few of the different color variations that you can get now this is another Ichmia Orlandiana this is a dark phase and I think it's really really striking so anyway guys you can see how many different kinds of Ichmias uh, that you can get and I've got to tell you this really only barely scratched the surface well guys that's it I hope you enjoyed looking at this wonderful family of bromeliads Ichmia is a great genus that has so many different sizes and shapes and colors that I know you'll be able to find at least one or two for your collection so no matter where you are I hope your sun is shining I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing and have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.